I'm sorry, oh, I'm beginning to have very strong dislike for the Deputy Speaker, House of Representative, Honorable Benjamin Kalu. I know hate is a strong word, but I think I'm beginning to see that I hate him. And then uh, he seems to have this very nauseating, irritating attitude towards Nigerians. And then uh, he's, he's sitting his eye horse. I begin to look like look onto us as though we had variants and he doesn't bloody care anymore how we think or what we think about him and them and then he dares us every single time i don't know I, i'm not god but i don't like this guy i don't like him i don't like him see this video first before i talk some more into our rules we cannot add add according to what uh everyone wants us to do we have we are guided by our rules and our rules remains the f that if at any point we feel that the integrity the dignity of the parliament you know has been threatened has been scratched we investigate through our internal structure in the eyes of principles of natural justice which is or the or pattern which is let both parties be heard which is fair hearing that is what we put in our rules it is not good for us to judge you know ahead of time and take rash decision therefore in line with the prayers of the leader of the house that this matter be referred to the committee on honorable benjamin kalu ignore this issue at hand but you you you, you deliberately um create a demeanor or a position that seems to be at variance with the people are you deliberately doing that I, again ignore this issue at hand we'll come back to this issue there'll be several instances where i look at you i look at your body language look at your science look at your language look at what you say both verbal non-verbal communication uh, 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 prowess and i consider it as though you are looking at the people as being nothing um, piece of shit or whatever and then you don't care how the people think about you you don't care you just say the things you say and then you don't give a damn obviously okay maybe um, a large majority of us may not be able to decide whether or not you are going to remain in politics because you've got your constituent assembly you've got your people that vote you but but looking at you back to back you are somebody that people should need and pray against of course and i'm not joking when i look at you um oh, back to this issue global best practices global standard practice everywhere in the world when somebody is being investigated the person is suspended and it's not the first time in the senate in the senate the same senate that is the red chambers of the Greek chambers we belong to early this year had an issue with the senate majority leader thought he was having some quite very nauseating anti-assembly practices and anti-party activities he was suspended he was suspended. The problem is not you suspending this guy. It doesn't change the fact that the guy is a magician and he needs to explain to Nigerians how he vanishes people. I hope his people that has been vanishing in his constituency go to ask him what has been happening. That's, that's not the point. The point is that you think it doesn't matter what the people think. You think it doesn't matter what is, what is being conversed, what is being spoken about by the people. You don't give a damn. That's the kind of body language you are. You are, you are even your president right seems to care a bit and then you hear him try to use certain factors even though he's not serious with it try to consider the plight of the people and you're that person that now makes yourself you don't care to be the pharaoh or herod or nebuchadnezzar you are you are growing some level of wings that is really nauseating and irritating sometimes i look at you i see when i watch videos of the plenary that you you lead I see a lot of the things you say and the things that you don't say. And I know that this person is not a good person. Unfortunately, a young man. And I expected you to be smart. You are deliberately putting yourself at long. I don't know who is sending you errands. 
I don't know who is I don't know who is sending. I don't know who is backing. I don't know what you have been told. You are gradually growing to an into a level to think that because you want to defend certain political um, um, interests that you belong to, I don't care what the people think anymore. You said that you will not listen to the people, the side talks or the whatever the people are saying to suspend you. Whereas, it is a global best practice in all ramifications, in all facets, in schools, in homes, as at, at best, when you want to even investigate home matter, you, you tell the child you are grounded for the next couple of hours till I'm done. You say you will not. The problem is not that you are even saying you are not suspended. The fact the way you say it and say you will not listen doesn't matter what the people think on social media for you the bunch of idiots just gathered around and they... benjamin Kalu and the people that love that guy tell him to be careful because a lot of times i don't know you're a young man and i swear that i've been i've been i've been i've been in a meeting that you came in i sat with you a few times maybe had a, a, a couple of words with you privately and then I thought that, okay, you said a few things in that particular meeting um, that should have given me cause for concern. When you spoke to young people and tell them that it's not what they think, it's not what they see, it's not how they see it, right? A lot of things are different from what they see. Okay, maybe you are just being a politician. But this is no longer politics you are doing. You are becoming somebody that the people should see and consider an enemy. You don't want to be in that kind of position. You don't want to be, of course, the Nigerian political scene has now evolved to a point where enemies now rise to becoming leaders, irrespective of what you think. But that can only be for a while. I hope you understand what you are doing. And the damage this can cause your political career. And the damage this can cause your own political career. I expect you to be smart enough. You are supposed to possess a lot of sensitivity and emotional intelligence. You don't want to be that person that the people look at and say, this person is our problem. You don't want to be.